Now, you mentioned water activity. You've touched upon it several times now. I have a lot of folks here that are tuning in that this is the first time they're ever hearing of water activity. You know, they might be more in the beginner stage or whatever. For whatever reason, this is the first time they're actually hearing about water activity. You mentioned point six. Is point six the target? Can we get a little deeper into water activity? You know, what is it? What's the actual target? Why is point six the target? So on and so forth. Okay. So there's been all kinds of research. Uh, water activity is a unit of measure that's been used for decades uh, by the pharmaceutical industry, by the food industry. They only deal in water activity. Um, what we are speculating is if uh, there's rescheduling from Schedule 1 to Schedule 3 um, and the FDA gets involved, FDA talks water activity. And everyone's got to learn water activity because that's the unit of measure they look at for shelf stability and products. You know, that that's a unit of measure. Um, so with decades of research and stuff at point six, the microbes and mold that grow that will be harmful can no longer survive in an, uh, an object, something that has a 0.6 water activity. Even museums that have rare documents measure water activity, and they want to make sure those documents that are 0.6 or lower because they don't want mold and microbes to eat up those rare documents and open up a box and there's dust in there. So they too are interested in water activity. Here's where food industry uses water activity. If you ever get those little cracker cheese sandwiches, now cheese you would think is wet and a cracker is dry. So why after you open that package after it's been in there for months, aren't those crackers mushy? Because they make sure that the cheese and the crackers are at the same water activity when they're manufactured and put together. So now with the same water activity, there's no water that can transfer from the cheese to the cracker or vice versa. We're not talking percent moisture. We're talking water activity, which is sort of a unit of measure. And that's why those crackers don't get soggy from the cheese. Because you'd normally say, cheese is wet, cracker is dry. But it's all about the science of water activity. There's all kinds of uh, research and Wikipedia and stuff that talks about water activity. So we're taking a technology that's been used for decades with all kinds of research and understanding and now just applying it to, to something different. But physics still apply. And there are these charts and diagrams that show water activity at 0 0.9, 0 0.8, 0 0.7, 0 0.6, 0 0.5. And through the different values, they show which microbials can flourish, you know, where the cutoff line is. And what they find is once you get to 0 0.6, you're in a happy, safe place. Really, the number is 0.65 is where all of the, the nasties you don't want to grow fall off once you get down to a 0.65 there's no longer that water to free available water to feed them so we like to say 0.6 so we got that little half a point in there from 0.6 to point you know 0.65 down to 0.6 to make sure we're in the, the happy zone this clip is brought to you by ac infinity use discount code mr grow at 15 to save on any of their products Thank you.